Number 10. Russian Nuclear Submarines Three Russian Navy submarines were seen punching their way through a solid sheet of ice in the Arctic. All three of the submarines surfaced simultaneously within just a few hundred feet of one another. According to Live Science, it was the very first time this tricky naval maneuver has been successfully completed. A video of the shocking event was shared by Russia's Ministry of Defense. The submarines broke through the ice near the Franz Josef Land archipelago north of the Barents Sea. They were part of a larger expedition involving over 600 military personnel to see what the Russian Navy is capable of in the ice. It turns out with these new submarines they have, they can easily maneuver underneath an entire frozen landscape and then break through at least five feet of ice at will. It's almost as if Russia is getting ready for Arctic warfare. Number 9. Diaries of Heinrich Himmler Heinrich Himmler was arguably one of the worst human beings to have ever existed. He was Hitler's right-hand guy and he's the one responsible for designing the Nazi concentration camps. He's also single-handedly responsible for the mass murder of millions of people. Well, the diary of the Holocaust architect has finally been found. It all goes back to the end of World War II when the Red Army took documents from German military installations in Berlin. Most of the material was put in archives and made inaccessible. But in recent years, the Russians have begun to allow access to some of their archives. One of the documents discovered was a diary of a thousand pages. The diary was written by Heinrich Himmler himself. Here's what makes it so terrifying. The diary paints a chilling picture of Heinrich, a man who blended his happy domestic life with his job of being a cold-blooded killer. He wrote in the diary about his wife and daughter, about his affair with his secretary, about taking care of his friends and comrades, and about visiting concentration camps and massacring people for fun. He casually writes about his snack breaks as if it's just an ordinary day, and for him, it was. One entry states that Himmler ordered that new guard dogs be placed at Auschwitz that could rip people to shreds. The detailed record offers a shocking journey into the mind of Hitler's evilest general. Number 8. Lost German U-Boat Archaeologists have found the ghoulish remains of a German U-Boat that got destroyed in World War I. As many of you may already know, one of the biggest issues the Allies faced during the Great War was the German submarine. These vessels seemed to be everywhere, constantly on the offensive and constantly sinking any ship that got close enough for their torpedoes to hit. The Allies lost up to a hundred ships a month and rarely sank a single U-boat in return. They were an absolute nightmare. But one of the U-boats that did sink was an SMUC-66, a terrible submarine that blew apart at least 32 Allied vessels during its five patrols. But less than a year after it launched in July of 1916, it accidentally sank itself. It wasn't even the Allies that did it, but the people inside the submarine. They made some kind of mistake, and an explosion ripped it apart in the middle. Now, Dr. Inez McCartney's underwater discovery team used survey techniques to analyze the wreckage. They found it sitting over 300 feet deep on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, lying exactly as it was described by British pilots back in 1917. Number 7. Hitler's Secret Tunnels Hidden in Germany, under the town of Druisburg, there are abandoned tunnels that have been deserted for years once used by Nazi soldiers for testing secret weapons. One of these terrifying tunnels was recently explored by Hampshire urban explorer Warren Tepper. He documented his trip through the underground passageways after climbing through a gap in a reinforced concrete wall that was once part of the Nazi shelter. He never expected he would end up lost inside a massive, complicated labyrinth of tunnels going deeper and deeper beneath the earth. The whole complex was likely raided by the Allies during the invasion. Warren discovered bullets lodged in some of the walls, the whole place was in disarray, and a mysterious weapons testing room looked as if a bomb had gone off inside. Rumor has it that Hitler himself visited the bunker to witness the research and development of new weapon technology while also using it as a spot for secret meetings. Are you a fan of urban exploring? What's the coolest place or thing you ever found? Let us know in the comments below and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. A Forgotten Bunker While working in the Craigielands Forest near Moffat, workers with Forestry and Land Scotland made an incredible discovery. They came across the remains of a forgotten underground bunker from World War II. They believed the bunker may have been used as a secret base for an auxiliary unit known back then as Churchill's Secret Army. These were men in specially trained teams who knew the land in the area extremely well. They were placed in underground shelters just in case Nazis ever invaded. If Nazis ever did make it into Scottish territory, these auxiliary units were meant to cause as much havoc as possible and eat at the Nazis from inside. They were also trained to fight till they no longer could, to the very death. 
But because these groups were so secretive, finding their lost bunkers today is a total fluke. The Scottish workers were cutting down a tree when it fell directly on the roof of the bunker, exposing it for the first time in over 70 years. It's not a very big bunker, only about 23 feet long and 10 feet wide. It was accessed through a hatch on the outside. The soldiers were ordered to stay inside and wait for the enemy to invade. But luckily, it never came to that. Number 5. Secret Stash of Nazi Artifacts A history teacher discovered a secret stash of Nazi artifacts hidden inside the wall of a building in the German city of Hagen. The artifacts, including Nazi badges decorated with eagles and swastikas, and even a portrait of Adolf Hitler himself, stayed hidden for over 75 years. The hoard was likely left behind by an officer in the final days of the Third Reich. As Allied forces advanced through Germany just weeks before Berlin would finally collapse, it's known that Nazis were hiding their goods. They knew the end was coming and needed to get rid of their treasures before the Russians took them. They also needed to hide any kind of Nazi memorabilia so they weren't arrested by the Americans. Whoever hid these Nazi treasures never got them back, suggesting they may have been killed in battle. They buried the objects in a narrow shaft between a pair of houses. They went undiscovered all these decades until history teacher Sebastian Yutseven found them while cleaning his aunt's house. They were most likely left behind by the previous owner. Hopefully his aunt wasn't involved, stashed beneath a chunk of plasterboard. Sebastian also found a newspaper from 1945, medals from the Nazi party, a pair of brass knuckles, some gas masks, and an old German revolver. Number 4. The Ghost Plane Witnesses in Derbyshire recently saw what they described as a dark aircraft from World War II gliding silently towards the ground as if about to crash before it disappeared completely. At first, it looked like a scary ghost plane returned from the war to drop spectral bombs across the countryside. It didn't help that some of the locals still know the story of the Douglas Dakota that crashed in that very spot over 70 years ago. One witness was with a friend in his back garden when they saw the plane moving silently across the sky. They were confused because it was plunging towards the ground when it vanished, but there was no explosion. But of course, planes can't be ghosts. A spokesman for the Royal Air Force said it was all part of a military exercise. There were actually three aircraft in the sky at the time of the incident. And they weren't even military planes from World War II, although the military never did reveal what kind they were. It's left everyone wondering what type of dark aircraft is capable of moving without making noise and vanishing without leaving a trace of itself behind. Number 3. Bombs in the Water While a boy from Lancaster was fishing with his grandfather, he reeled in something nobody could have possibly expected. The nine-year-old boy used his new Christmas present, a shiny new fishing rod, to pull an undetonated bomb from World War I out of the water. Of course, this was no ordinary fishing rod. He was testing out his new magnet fishing rod with his grandfather on the edge of a canal near their home. The fishing rod consists of a magnet attached to a rope about 60 feet long. After days of catching nothing except boring anchors and the heads of discarded hammers, the kid pulled out a literal bomb. What did they do with it? The boy and his grandfather simply put it in the garbage. It wasn't until a couple days later that they called the police, who informed them the bomb was indeed still active and required a disposal unit to take care of it. Authorities asked them to clear the area until they arrived and could handle the situation. In the end, the kid was lucky his fishing trip didn't end in his whole garage going up in flames. Number 2. The Exploding Bomb In 2021, the unthinkable happened. Four people were injured, one of them quite seriously, when a bomb from World War II exploded during the construction of a railway. It happened in the German city of Munich, bringing traffic to an absolute standstill. Nobody could have imagined in a thousand years that a bomb from nearly a century ago would have ripped apart a construction site. And yet, unexploded bombs are found frequently in Germany. They usually prompt evacuations but are diffused by experts with no casualties. This time, nobody even knew the bomb was there until it exploded. Nobody knows if it was a British or US bomb or even a piece of German ordnance. It's just extremely lucky that nobody died and hopefully it's the last time something like this ever happens. Number 1. Abandoned Vehicles An urban explorer in the UK recently came across the abandoned corpses of military vehicles that were used back during the Cold War. He found a forgotten field filled with vintage warplanes once employed by the British military. These fighter planes were dirty, rotten, and beyond fixing. With the insignia of the Royal Air Force stamped on their sides, there was no mistaking who they belonged to. But then, what were they doing in the middle of a random field? 
The Explorer also found ZSU-24 tanks, anti-aircraft vehicles covered in tarps, and anti-missile systems. This was all prime technology during the Cold War, but none of it appeared to have seen any action. It's as if all these planes and tanks were built, stationed somewhere in case war broke out between the US and the Soviet Union, and then they just forgot about them. It's kind of scary to think that these weapons of war are lying around for anyone to find, even just some urban explorer with a camera and a YouTube channel. How do you feel about these crazy military discoveries, especially the nuclear submarines prowling through the Arctic waters? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon for more great videos like this one right here on American Eye.